Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this week's Moon Planet Alignment. My name's Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. So we have um, some gorgeous energy at the beginning of the week. We have Scorpio Moon, and this connects with Venus in Pisces, and Pisces inspiring this dreamy energy, um, and also Pisces in Neptune. So we have some water energy at the beginning of this week. Now, water energy is great for our dreams, for our creative side, our spiritual side, our inspirations. But it can also mean that we are a little bit too heady, a little bit too dreamy, and maybe have all these wild ideas, which is very Neptune-y, um, but we're not actually doing anything about it. That will change by the end of the week, though. But this is brilliant for Valentine's Day, which we have on the 14th tomorrow. So um, anything to do with romance, anything to do with love, this is going to really support that energy. Now, even if you're single, you can still love yourself. You can still buy a flower, sell flowers. I'm not going to go into that song. I really nearly did. Um, but you could also, you know, take yourself out on a day or just treat yourself. And if you're in a couple, that's going to be great because it's all lovey-dovey energy this week. As we move into the middle of the week, we get a little bit of more Sagittarian energy, completely different from Scorpio. Scorpio energy is all about, it's intense. It's about um, very much around your sick, uh, spiritual side but can also be connected to secrets it's going to be very interesting as to what comes out later on in the next month i think i think march i'm looking collectively march i'm seeing some uh, patterns of change coming in and maybe a little bit of upheaval it will all be all right on the night but i think march is a little bit um, upheaval as we move into more of a Pisces sun, Pisces energy. But let's stick with this week. So Scorpio energy, yeah, you might find you are getting a little bit prickly. You might find that the energy is a little bit intense, but with that Venus, uh, which is love, which is soft, which is beauty, and the Pisces connection, it just softens it a little bit. But do pay attention to your dreams and do pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition is going to be super, super heightened at the beginning of the week. As we move, like I said, to the middle of the week, we come into more Sagittarius energy. So Sagittarius energy is going to be getting you a bit more focused, getting you a little bit more uh, with your drive and where you want to put your adventures in life. What is it that you want to get going with? So these dreams that we have at the beginning of the week, as we come into the middle of the week, start to see a little bit of fruition or we start to see a little bit of action happening with those dreams. So dream big at the beginning of the week, because then when you move into Sagittarius, you can start to to really elevate that, really action that. As we come into the end of the week, now this would be just before we go into Monday's full moon, no, new moon, we're looking at tying up loose ends. We've got the moon in Aquarius for the weekend and the sun in Aquarius. So it's the last part of this Aquarian energy. So we're looking at tying up loose ends. We're looking at finishing things that we might have started back in the last full moon. We're looking at... Um, thinking outside the box different ways of doing things this is really your last chance to think outside the box and tie up those loose ends in a different way so if things haven't been going your way with a particular subject or project it might be time to just lay that to bed and put your energy into new things and next week we're going to be talking more about the new moon in pisces but this weekend we want to be looking at different ways of finalizing things different ways of um, finishing things but also asking yourself what are you doing with all this like consciousness revelation this awakening energy that you've spurred now the awakening and all this new new thoughts new wisdom what are you doing with that the end of the week really asks us to go within and, uh, and say we've got all this information we've got all this knowledge what are we going to do with it? Are we just going to sit on it or are we actually going to action it? And there's been so much awakening, so many, I've had so many messages from people saying, I'm starting to see angel numbers, I'm starting to see this, I'm starting to see that. What does this mean? I'm having this dream. Honestly, I've probably had more messages in the last couple of weeks than ever. So there's a huge collective on a wake up scale. So once you've woken up, what are you going to do with that energy? And you might already be awake. Are you going to be helping others? Are you going to be sharing it or are you going to be keeping it to yourself? The beginning of the week with that Scorpio energy, we keep things to ourselves. We're a bit like secret, private. Sagittarius, we are just going to expand with that Jupiter connection to Sagi. We're going to expand and expand the love as well. So have a fabulous week this week, but don't forget, think about what you're going to do with all that amazing energy that you've built up. Tie up those loose ends and dream big.